Sometimes the best way to explain a simple but important concept is to illustrate it. And no one understands that better than Carl Richards. A former financial advisor, Carl now works with other advisors on managing their clients' behaviour. Carl is well known for his sketches, and one of his most popular is a sketch that helps clients to focus on what really matters. It was a conversation with his mother that gave him the idea. She sits down and says, oh, nothing. And I said, no, no, really, what's wrong? And she said, oh, the dollar. I'm just so worried about the dollar. And at this point, it was like, I, you know, I was 12 years into my my career and I had not had anyone really ever ask me about the dollar. So I remember sort of like, well, tell me more about that mom. And she's like, oh, it could collapse. My mom, as far as I'm concerned, sort of controls the universe, right? But she has no control over what happens to the dollar. And the argument, would it matter if the dollar fell? Well, yeah, if the dollar collapsed, it would matter. But we started talking about that intersection of these two circles, right? Things that matter, and things that you can control. Because if it doesn't matter, why are you worried about it? And if you can't control it, why are you worried about it? Other than to plan around it, right? But so often if we can, we can get the intersection of things that both matter and things we can control, that's really where we should focus because um, that will make a difference. Focusing on this intersection of what matters and what you can control is useful in life generally and not just when it comes to investing. It can save you a great deal of time and unnecessary worry. And the good news with investing, and particularly if you think more about um, wealth management in general, like more broadly than just investing, is if you were to make a list of all the things that actually mattered, most of them are things we have control over. Right? Asset allocation, um, our behavior, when we retire. Like there's a whole long list of things that we have control over. There's one noticeable thing that we do not that matters a lot that we have no control over. And that's our return, in other words, the markets. Right? And we spend 80% of our time talking and worrying about the one thing. And right? I'm just suggesting that we should maybe flip that a little bit. And that doesn't mean ignore that thing. I'm just saying, why don't we spend a little bit more time talking about the things that we do have control over that also matter? Thank you to Carl Richards. You can find plenty more helpful sketches like that on his website, behaviorgap.com. That's behaviorgap.com.